Hello everyone, Tomo Robo here for some more Dream Daddy. And I totally forgot to save a file from the last time, so, but it's okay. It was just the entire Amanda part where she was explaining why, you know, the drama that was happening in her life. So it wasn't too bad. I remembered like what I answered and I think there was one answer that I actually changed because I misunderstood the first time. So I chose the one that I wanted to pick from the beginning, but I did all that now and we fast forward. I saved the game again, so we are ready to pick up where we left off, sort of. I was gonna go back, I was I was gonna continue and just finish off Robert, but I forgot my friend who is also playing this game. I believe she mentioned that you can, I guess, quote unquote date or get to know other dads while you go on dates with another dad so you can pretty much date, date more than one person and I'm sort of wondering if I should end up doing that because I'm um, if I finish Robert now would that mean I have to go back all the way to the beginning and like set up my profile again and then just go through all the Amanda stuff over and over for every single one and that seems a bit tedious I mean if I do have to do it I I guess I will but I'm wondering if I could just if I could build up the friendship for all the men and then I can decide you know maybe I can save before I make my final de decision and then go back to the safe file and just see what each of the fathers is like. I mean, it, it might work. Or they might find out I've been dating all seven of them and have a hissy fit. But, uh, <laughs> um, I might try that. I'm... Because here's the thing, every time we went on a date, we, got, we get a heart. So, I think... If we go on a date with Robert one more time, it's like, that's it? Or maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. Uh, and I'm too scared to message him, and because what if I can't go back? It's like, oh, you made your decision, no going back, so... Uh, I... think... Yeah, you know what? I'll take a chance. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back. So <laughs> it's kind of confusing, but what I'm going to do is I, I already sort of got like almost finished Robert. And I know my second choice, my second and third, like my top three choices is Robert, Joseph, and Damien. And now I'm wondering if I should just go and do the guy I have the least interest in. And so then it'll be like, Robert, and I think Brian, I'm not, I don't know, like, he's too competitive for me, but I'm still interested in dating or giving him a try, because who knows, maybe he ends up being a nice guy. So, I'm gonna go with Rob, I got Rob out of the way, so maybe it'll go Brian, and then Joseph, and then, hmm, man, it's a toss up between Craig and Hugo, I guess maybe Craig, and then Damien, and then Matt and Hugo, so I'll just do like a, like a switch. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. So, Robert, I'm sorry. You are on standby at the moment. And I am gonna give Brian a try now. <laughs> I hope this isn't too confusing for everyone, but alright. Let's, uh... Let's give Brian a try. 
I forgot what video was his name. Brian Spin was just hanging out with my awesome daughter, thinking of new ways to grow things. Oh yeah, you're surprisingly obsessed with girls and fishing. Um, like cooking briskets, fishing. Your turn on is a keen understanding of steak cuts. Oh shit, I don't know anything about cooking. <laughs> Uh, you want to be a fireman, and you like romantic comedies, uh, oh, yeah, I'm not, not a fan of that. Well, we'll give you a try, Brian. We'll give you a try, I really hope this doesn't fuck me over. Or if it does, I'll just, I'll just go back. <laughs> That's what save files are for. Man, I don't know how I feel about hanging out with Brian more, but it seems like Daisy and Amanda got along really well. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hang out with Brian for more of the sake for the kids. I crack my knuckles and start typing. Hey Brian, great grabbing burgers with you at the cookout yesterday. We should get the kids together and hang out soon. I wait a couple minutes until a ding comes from my computer and a message pops up on screen. It's Brian. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, hey, man! Always love a good burg with a buddy. We should definitely hang out. What do you think about mini golf? We could bring the girls out and have ourselves a little friendly competition, of course. I mean, mini golf is fun, but. Uh, rock on, Brian. He signed his name. That's cute. Friendly competition. This is perfect. I know Amanda and I will crush Brian in mini golf. I've been taking her to mini golf courses since she was a little kid. And I'm proud to say that she's almost better at it than I am. Almost. I type back. That sounds great, man. Name the time and place and we'll be- Oh, Jesus! That was- <laughs> Slow down, Tomo Dad! <sighs> let me get a- Let me get myself a drink. Hey, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you be up for some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? Mm -hmm. I'm a little out of practice and I know my backswing leaves something to be desired. But I think I could keep it in the negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, that's awesome. I do enjoy mini golf. It's it's fun. You ready for this? Yeah. Alright, matey. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Why are you talking like that? Because this mini golf course is pirate themed? I just now realized that we are indeed standing on top of a giant pirate ship in the middle of a putt-putt course. How did I not notice that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, pirate dad! Want to talk like a pirate with me? Arr, ahoy! Um, scurvy? <laughs> it's no time for jokes. I don't see pirates, only angles. Or... Avasti! Avasti! I'll make Brian and Daisy walk the plank with my superior golfing abilities. I mean, uh, doubloon? Mm. I suck at this. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you told me that this was just gonna be some friendly competition. Friendly competition is dad coach for actual competition. I need to prepare my body and mind and soul to defeat Brian in the field of glorious battle. See, that's... Tomo Dad seems to be really gung ho about the competing thing, but I'm not feeling it. I just want to have a fun time. Mm. It's just mini golf. Just mini golf? It's so much more than that. I kneel down and place a hand on Amanda's shoulder. I just want you to know that there is no pressure. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it too much, but we have to beat Brian at mini golf. Whatever happened to just having fun? I agree, Amanda. Uh, I'm sorry Tomo Dad is acting this way. <laughs> oh, we will have fun. 
when we beat them. Mm. Amanda gives me a Amanda gives me a side eye, but before I can side eye her back, I spot Brian and Daisy. Uh -huh. Ahoy there, mateys! Ahoy! I love Daisy. She's adorable. Brian walks up with Daisy in tow. It looks like they already rented up some golf clubs for our mini golf excursion. Total power move. Why didn't I think of that? Alright! Alright, first mate! I hear there's buried treasure in these waters. You gonna help me plunder it? Oh, Amanda, I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just to play putt-putt on. <gasps> Amanda gives Daisy a look. Eh? I mean, aye aye, Captain. Daisy winks at Amanda. Ah. Ah, look at these two. They're two peas in a pod. So, you excited to get some mini golf in? Oh, you know it. Yeah, look at that smile. That grimace smile. <laughs> you a gambling man? Oh no, we're gonna bet now? Oh. I know when to hold him. Depends on what's on the table. Do I get you a fl Oh god, that is so forward. Don't say that in front of the kids. <laughs> Do I get you if I win? <laughs> like, I don't even know if that's supposed to be, like, dirty, but... Uh, um, hmm. Depends on what's on the table. I know when to hold him. Depends on what's on the table. Oh, you you like that? Okay. What are you willing to part with? How about the loser buys drinks tonight? Well, that's not too bad. I can do that. All right. But how about we make it a bit more interesting? No! Tomo Dad, no! I am not consenting to this decision! <laughs> I'm listening. The loser has to mow the winner's lawn this week. Why? I hate mowing lawns. Why are you doing this to me, me? <laughs> well, my yard's pretty big. Are you prepared to take that on? No, I'm not. I feel like I'm Tomo Des conscious of being like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I think you should be a little more concerned with how you're gonna maneuver around my hedges. It's highly technical work, not for the faint of heart. Don't think I'll need to worry about that. I'm very good at mini golf, you know. Oh yeah? Hole in one? Every time. Oh god, what are the chances that this is gonna be a mini game? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what I just said is not a true thing, but it already came out of my mouth, so I have to stand by it. I'm already regretting this. I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Brian and I eye each other up and down. May the best dad win. Brian and I shake hands and lock eyes. It's about to go down. Mm. It is a fucking mini game! No! Oh god! Oh shit! Yay! Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! That's at least two. It's not too bad. Oh god, where's the best way to do it? What? That's timed? I didn't know this was timed! Jesus fucking Christ! I am embarrassing myself and my family so much right now. Jesus Christ. My dad used to be so into golfing too, and he took me golfing so many times, but I can't 
can't fucking remember. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is the worst day. I don't even fucking care anymore. I'm done. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I know it sucks. I don't, I don't give a shit. Yeah, what of it? Yeah, that's a shitty putt. Yeah, this is not good times. I hate this. This is not a good date. I'm not having fun. Can we just go get drunk and <laughs> sneak into movies and play with knives? Please? I miss getting drunk and sword fighting. <laughs> Amanda pulls me aside while Brian and Daisy start walking to the next hole. <sighs> hey, you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time trying to destroy Brian underfoot. <sighs> hmm? I just asked because your eye is twitching. No, it's not. I feel my left eye twitch and Amanda raises her eyebrows. Hmm. We're out here to have fun, remember? It's just a game. You're right, it's just a game. A game with extremely high stakes. Well, you know what, Tomo Dad? That is your own fault. You did this to yourself. That we are currently losing. Huh. Dad. Huh. Please, Amanda, please know this next hole for me. I need your help now more than ever. Huh. If it's really that important to you, sir. Amanda walks over and tees up for a particularly hard windmill hole. Gripping her club, she winds up and launches the ball into the parking lot. She looks me right in the eye and does an exaggerated shrug. Hmm. Oops. I disagree with her actions, but I appreciate her act of youthful defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. Huh. That was for your own good. I deserved that. Love you, kiddo. What? There's more? Uh, my god. Just go. Just go. I don't even care. Yeah, that's great. Go the complete opposite direction I, I told you to. Ball. Fantastic. Just go. I don't care. Yay! Best golf ball. player ever. Woo! Dead men sink no pass. Oh my god, I- OH! I got it! Yay! Happy birthday to me! This isn't gonna make it by any stretch of the imagination. Dead men sink yeah, I know. No pass. Just go. Yeah! Yeah! You've lost your ball. Oh, you fucking shitting me? Oh my god, no way! <gasps> you I thought for sure I was gonna get that one in. I try to maintain an air of professionalism because there are children present, but I can feel the crushing weight of the four dads before me, casting a disappointed look upon my broken frame. I have failed you, fathers, and for that, I am sorry. <laughs> Man, that was some good shooting there, Tomo! I don't... Don't pitch me. It was... it was shit. Uh, mini golf is beneath me. I have lost, lost at putt. I have lost, lost at putt, putt. I fought violently, and my only regret was being bested. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Holy crap, that was a good decision? <laughs> I'll remember this day, Brian. And someday, when I finally defeat you, you'll think of this moment too. The moment I decided your fate. The moment I decided that you must be destroyed. <laughs> so dramatic. Brian and I eyeball each other. Electricity shooting between us. <laughs> so anime. Hey. Alright, Daisy. Did you have a good time? 
Yo ho ho, I did. <laughs> we haven't even found the buried treasure yet. I think we would need to apply for a permit to dig around here. Hmm. I can take Daisy home so we can get the city paperwork started for digging. You two go enjoy your night. Ah. Sounds like a plan. Tomo, you cool with that? Sure, just don't get yourselves into too much trouble. Nah. Can do. I'll make sure we get into a perfectly reasonable amount of trouble. Amanda and Daisy skip away, yelling about buried treasure. Aww. So cute. Bless that kid's tiny rebellious heart. Oh. Well, guess we should hit the bar now. <laughs> There's actually a tiki bar attached to this place. Oh, sweet! Tiki! How about that? That sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, tiki bar. Ooh. Guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which I'm not jazzed about considering I'm, I'm completely blew it on the putt-putt course. Okay, Dad, you can do this. Just gotta drown my sorrows in some tropical loser drink and get out of here. Dude, lighten up! You did a pirate-themed mini-golf and now you get to go to a tiki bar? Brian and I walk into the Freaky Tiki, a kitschy island-themed bar. Palm trees adorn the walls and several fake parrots are strewn about. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. Ah. Two. Pineapples of, uh, pineapples of hospitality, please. The bartender whips us up two rum drinks inside the hollowed out pineapples. He sets them on fire and we have to blow them out before we can drink them. Ooh, fire! I like fire. Usually I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks? <laughs> if you don't want yours, I'll take it. And best me again? I think not. I take a sip of my pineapple of hospitality. So tastes fruity. <laughs> my lawn care needs are very particular. I hope you're up for the challenge. Uh... Oh, don't worry. I'll bring my own salt to promote healthy growth in a sustainable environment. Ah. Oh, come on now, Tomo. I'm just having a little fun with you. I grumble and sip more of my fruity sorrow drink. <laughs> fine, fine, you got me on this one. While I sip more of my drink, I notice a TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Makeover! Deck Edition is on! I love the show. Always made me want to own a deck. Ugh, I hate the show. <laughs> Why? It's so clearly fake. Well, yeah, it's reality TV. Who cares? I care! I'm a general contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way they're renovating those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. That's a three week job minimum. So, you want them to cover those three weeks extensively in every episode? It can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck for that long. Nobody would watch it. I don't like any of those home improvement shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Like long haul paranormal ice roads ghost truckers? I have terrible news for you, Tomo. No. No, not them too. That's the awful truth. Ah. Not the ghosts though. Those are real. Trucks just don't have emergency escape buttons. <laughs> I've been lied to for so long! We both chuckle and sip our pineapples. So wait, you're a general contractor? Ah. Sure am. I actually helped plan the cul-de-sac we live in. Wow, nice work. Yeah, kinda took after the, foot uh, the footsteps of my old man. Was he a general contractor too? The best. He practically built half of this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying not to become your father. Then you wake up one day and there you are. <laughs> I need a sip of water. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we're getting backstory out of Brian at least. 
<clears throat> but I get to work with my hands, and it pays more than enough to take care of my daughter. So it's an uh, absolute dream job, for me at least. Hmm. Well, that's impressive. Building stuff has always been my weak point as a dad, and I've and I've been okay with that until now. Now I must defeat him. I do have that patio furniture that I haven't put together, still sitting in the garage. Okay, okay, maybe I should cool it with a dad competition. Gotta keep it light. Uh, stare him down on blinking? Why? Ask about his daughter? Tell one of your classic jokes? Um... Jeez. <sighs> well, we said to ourselves to keep it light, and I feel like Stare Him Down is, like, not keeping it light at all, so it's either gonna be one or two. If I ask about his daughter, would that make him... Would that make us competitive again? I don't know! Oh god! Eee. Ask about your daughter! Oh! You like that? Okay, so Daisy seems pretty smart for her age. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's a genius. She definitely doesn't get it from her old man, though. <laughs> it's actually a little embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble is really hard. I can barely make good words when I have the whole alphabet in front of me, let alone seven letters. Okay, I can agree with that. I am terrible when it comes to Scrabble. Brian laughs. See? We can keep things friendly here. This is perfectly pleasant. I could do this all night. Because I feel an innate need to impress Brian and prove I'm better than him, obviously. <sighs> That's the only reason, I think. Let's keep it moving. Is my character having tsundere thoughts? Uh, compliment his beard, complain about kids these days? No. Ask about his dog or compliment his beard? He liked when I asked about his daughter, so maybe I can ask about the dog too and that'll be... Hmm. Also, sorry, I feel like I got something stuck in my throat. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Maybe ask her. Oh, you like that too? Okay. So, you have a dog. Sure do. Hmm. I can't quite remember what he looks like. Oh, he's a little corgi. How can you forget what the dog looked like? He had like a green, like, handkerchief bandana thing around his neck. Oh, he's a little corgi. Always has a like, handkerchief. Oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot, he says that- he just said that, Oh, Uh... Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... getting it. I think I might need a visual reminder to jog my memory- Oh, I get what my character's doing. I don't quite remember your dog, maybe you guys should come over and give, uh, give him another belly rub. If you happen to have any pictures of said dog, Maybe on your phone? <laughs> Brian laughs. Tomo, if you wanted to see pictures of Maxwell, you could have just asked. Show me the goods, then. Brian pulls out his phone and flips through an entire album of dog pictures. Aw oh, yeah, that's the stuff. 
What a good boy. I look around the room and take in all the kitschy decor, looking for something else to comment on. There's a giant fish hanging above Brian, and I... I gesture to it. Cool fish. It's definitely fake. What, really? Hmm. Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over there is just a ficus with plastic coconuts glued to it. I look over. He's right. Hmm. But I almost caught something like that fish once. Mine was bigger though. Of course it was. It was this big. Oh my god, I said the exact same thing. <laughs> oh really? Yup. I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We were out we were we <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We were out on the sea for three days, catching fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught it. Though yeah, throw a little bit of salt and lemon on there. Oh man, that's some of the best food I've ever had. That actually sounds amazing. <laughs> Well, it was the last day. Everyone had gone to bed already, but I was out there watching the stars. Had my line out too. Then, all of a sudden, it just starts up. <laughs> so I jump on the wheel before it gets ripped out of the rod rack and start fighting with the damn thing. I'm out there for maybe an hour, can't call out my shipmates. It's just man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to tucker the guy out. I get him up to the surface and finally get a sight of it. The biggest marlin I've ever seen. Hemingway esque. <laughs> I get it in I get it onto the boat single handedly. <laughs> and you know what happens next? What happens next? Aww. The damn thing smacks me in the face with its tail, knocks me out, and I wake up next morning on the deck. The fish is gone. Never felt dumber. So I got away. I think there's another version of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch that fish, Captain Ahab style. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Aww. Aww man, fishing's the life. Haven't gone enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I having this explicable urge to be vulnerable with him? I can't tell him that I'm a t that I'm terrible at fishing. I lean in close. Are you fucking shitting me? Why are we having such a hard time being honest with him? God, I'm none of these things. Like I've gone fishing before, and I'm I'm, I'm shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Man! Uh, I don't want to say I'm the best. No one can outfish me. Like, I guess amazing? Uh, Tomo Dad, what are you doing? I'm simply the best out there. Okay, since you're such a pro, I'm taking you fishing. Oh, who could have foreseen this coming? Do you want to go fishing? <laughs> Wait, don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. Yay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, I don't know. Tomo Dad, seriously? I honestly feel like the conscience in Tomo Dad right now just screaming at him, like, What are you doing? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Come on, it'll be a blast! I know the perfect little fishing spot. I'll bring some beers and we can just sit back, relax, and we'll land some trout. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on, you know you want to. I sigh. I've been cornered. Yeah, yeah, okay. Brian gives me an exuberant high five. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Maybe we'll see who can catch the most fish, so I can get you mowing my lawn. <sighs> you can try to beat me, but they don't call me Tomo good at catching fish robo for nothing! Uh... 
I am spinning a web of lies that I fear will only one day consume me. Sounds like you'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time. Kiss my bass. <laughs> I'm real excited. This is a great opportunity for friendship. I. Uh, maybe lame. Yeah. To catch way more fish than you, Brian. Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see the competitive fire in his eyes. This is gonna become a whole thing, isn't it? Huh. That actually didn't end as badly as I thought, like... So far we got like an explosion heart and then we got one of the, like, the more tame hearts popping up, but no negative things happened, so... That went better than I expected. <laughs> Once Brian takes over babysitting duties, Amanda walks home with me. She immediately plops down on the couch and flips on the TV. So, how was your hang with Brian? It was... okay. Oh yeah? He seems like a neat dude. I think so? I don't know, the guy loves a good competition. But then again, apparently so do I. What did you and Daisy end up doing? <laughs> Oh, we hunted for treasure for a bit, but Daisy was really adamant about not digging without permit, so we just watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put it to bed and then sat around eating Brian's food. <laughs> nice. Don't tell him I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian says she has a hard time relating to other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at her age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you do. I can't believe I'm finally the cool older kid. Feels good. You gonna hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. Ooh. I told him I was an amazing fisherman. Mm. You hate fishing. I know. I'm kind of panicking. Why would you even say that if you don't even like fishing? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. All you have to do is wake up at the crack of dawn and sit silently in a boat on a lake for hours on end. With no promise of a tangible reward, your only companion being the fear and doubt you harbor deep within your heart. <laughs> Fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself as the world darkens around you and you wonder if it's really you staring back at yourself in the lake's reflection or simply just the abyss. Yeah, laugh it up, Amanda. You're coming with us. Hmm. It is my constitutional right to outright refuse this order. Daisy's coming too. Well... Hmm... I bet I could convince Brian to bring his dog. Fine. Sold. I'm in. Alright. I'm brushed. I'm gonna call it a night. Don't stay up too late, okay? You got it, Pops. Cool. Date complete! History Channel, huh? Belly laughs, bear hugs, yo ho ho, tiki. You know what? Oh. Let me mow your lawn this weekend. Let me mow your lawn this weekend. Holy shit! We got an S with Brian? I was totally expecting to fail him. Like, I don't know, get a C or something? And yes, confirmed, I... I mean, S is actually a really good score. Uh, wow! Okay. Yeah, all right. We're good at dating, apparently. Uh, let's see how much time has passed. All right. I'm going to take a quick break. And I suppose we'll go on to our second date with Brian. And once the second date is done, we'll go on to Joseph. All right. Be back in a bit.